The marches and protest methods that the Embassy of God used to protect its rights now are the methods used by the demonstrators and the struggle for freedom in this peaceful revolution. My son was a drug addict. The Lord set him free. I know the price of freedom. I know that the freedom of the nation depends on every person, and therefore the freedom of the nation will come through the freedom of every person. I thank God that the believers' prayers brought these people here. For many years we prayed, and now we are here. For four years we had the march of life here as a little seed. Then about 50,000 people were here, and now many, many more are standing. I believe that the freedom of Ukraine is in the Lord Jesus Christ. By leading the way in social activities, the church has opened the door for all Ukrainians. Ukraine has shown itself as a nation and as a civil society. All this has been building up today into one point, which we can call the moment of truth for Ukraine. In this significant time for our country, the Christian churches supported the demonstrations and went to the streets. Many volunteers took part in arranging and working in the tent cities. Believers also provided the out-of-town demonstrators with lodging, meals, warm clothes and medicine. Hello, you see what is happening? This is Ukraine. The country has come alive. People are coming to me. You have been seeing it all over the, over the last one hour. People coming to me to get my signature, to get a paper, a newspaper. Well, this, these are the tents. If you look at the tent city, these are the, the, all the places where people are living. Our church also has got a tent where we are living, and people here are coming here to live, not live in this center, just to make a point that this country, that they are ready to stand in the street, they are ready to sleep in the cold, just for this country to change. Well, that is the role of the church, and the leading role this, in the center of all this is the church, the embassy of the blessed kingdom of God. That's the name of our church, and everybody is coming here because they know this is where life is. They are coming to receive newspapers, they are coming to receive the gospel, they are con coming to be prayed for, they are coming to discuss about God, and they are coming to receive the seven principles of national reformation that we are, transformation that we have printed out and we are giving to the whole country. We are giving them out in hundreds of thousands to the people, citizens of this nation and they are taking them and they are distributing them to know the principles that are able to transform this country into a, into a, into a prosperous nation, into a blessed society. So uh, I want to encourage everybody from every country to believe God that the church should be a force of reformation in any society, a force of reformation, not just being there to, to, to be present, but to be a dominion force, a dominating force that is subduing the society, that is changing the culture, that is influencing politics, that is influencing the economy, that is bringing millions of people to the Lord, that is changing the focus and the direction of the nation. The unity of all religious denominations and all groups of society in the struggle for freedom and justice has brought change. The results of the election's second round were nullified, and the compromised government has resigned. After the third round of elections, the truth has triumphed. In the third round, which was accepted as being conducted with democratic principles, Viktor Yushchenko received the victory. In reality, he had the lead in the first and second rounds, but the officials did not want to recognize his victory for some time. Dear 